Little Miss Brilliant by Roger Hargraves. Little Miss Brilliant was brilliant. She wasn't completely wrong, but not quite perfect either. In the morning, she always made two cups of tea. Look at the teapot she was invented. Brilliant, right? That day, after he breakfast, Little Miss Brilliant didn't feel like washing the dishes. I have a great idea, she cried, and she threw her cup, saucer, spoon, and the teapot into the dustbin. Did you find that brilliant? After cleaning, clearing away her dishes in her own way, Little Miss Brilliant said, I have a great idea. I'm going to take a look around and find other brilliant ideas. She then went out of her house. Outside, the sun shone, the birds sang, and the earthworms were smiling. But suddenly, Little Miss Brilliant heard a cry. Help! Help me! Help! The cries came from a house that was in rather a poor condition. Little Miss Brilliant wondered, who lives there? Mr. Clumsy. Once again, he slipped on his soap, but balance landed head first in the laundry basket, then found himself the edge on the stairs. He was about to fall. I have a great idea to save you, cried Little Miss Brilliant, and she turned the basket upside down. With Mr. Clumsy still inside. Get me out of here, begged Mr. Clumsy. You really want me to? Little Miss Brilliant surprised. Yes! No! What an other idea! Well, as you want! And she carried Mr. Clumsy outside his house. Are you happy now? Asked Little Miss Brilliant. Mr. Clumsy did not answer. So Little Miss Brilliant took the basket off of his head. You are really brilliant, Little Miss Brilliant, said Mr. Clumsy. Without you, what will become of me? Come on, I'll make you a cup of tea to say thank you. The trouble is that when serve serving the tea, Mr. Clumsy tripped over his laces. And he broke the teapot. All is not lost, said Little Miss Brilliant. I have a great idea. Come and have the tea with me. The trouble is that Little Miss Brilliant's house was that there was no teapot. Or rather, there was one, but it was in the rubbish. You know why, don't you? So, can you guess what Little Miss Brilliant said? Yes, that's it. She said, I have a great idea. And she added, let's not drink tea.